We're the Next Gen Fluid Mount Team. I'm Tim Fair. I'm Alex Jackson. I'm James Caldwell. And I'm Luke Wyvert. And we're excited to present our senior design project sponsored by Parker Lord. Parker Lord creates these fluid mounts that are used in the agricultural and construction industries. These fluid mounts attach the cab to the chassis of the vehicle while also addressing noise, vibration, and shock issues to improve ride quality for the operator. The objective of this project is to design and integrate a rollover protection system, also known as ROPS, into an existing fluid mount technology while maintaining current performance and simplicity of manufacturability and installation. In Lord's previous design, they used bonded seal beads to prevent fluid leakage. With their next-gen fluid mount, they opted to use a pre-compression of the elastomer and cup to prevent leakage. With this, customers began to express interest in incorporating ROPS into their new design. Next, we established key constraints to fulfill Lord's objectives. This includes the mount must be able to withstand a 300 kilonewton loading in the instance of a rollover. The mount must maintain current static and dynamic responses, resulting in no change to the elastomer or the viscous fluid. The mount must maintain the same attachment points which is measured as the socket diameter, where no component can extend outside of this distance. The snubbing distance, or the distance between the cab and the mount, cannot change. The components of the mount, such as the inner member, damping plate, cup, and other added components, must have a maximum carbon content of 0.2% to ensure proper function in differing climates. And finally, no changes to Lord's current manufacturing and molding processes that are currently used in this mount. Concept generation was conducted to determine possible ways to incorporate ROPS into this mount. Other considerations included increasing the damping plate thickness, increasing bolt size, and also adding a reinforcement plate. Different concepts of the collar component were generated to potentially decrease the stress seen in critical components such as the damping plate. With possible concepts generated, the group spent the months of November through March working towards a solution. The main tool that the group used throughout the solution process was finite element analysis. Finite element analysis helped the group accurately represent the application of the mount by applying loads and boundary conditions so that the behavior of the mount with the generated concepts could be analyzed under the rollover force, as shown here. This FDA was used in an iterative concept refinement process to narrow down and select geometries and materials for both added and existing components. The final analyses resulted in the proposed solution shown here on the left. The difference between the original next-gen fluid mount and the new ROP next-gen fluid mount shows that components were both added and modified from the original mount. Starting with the modified component, the damping plate, inner member, and cup were all modified from the original to better protect the mount. The damping plate was thickened, the inner member added, added a cap screw, and the cup was lengthened to account for this cap screw. The difference between the original next-gen fluid mount and the new ROPS next-gen fluid mount shows that components were both added and modified from the original mount. Starting with the modified component, the damping plate, inner member, and cup were all modified from the original to better protect the mount. The damping plate was thickened, the inner member added this M20 cap screw, and the cup was lengthened to account for this cap screw. However, the big difference between the original and ROPS version was the addition of the collar and reinforcement plate. The collar was added to help strengthen the middle section of the mount to transfer the load from the damping plate to the top of the cup. And thus, the reinforcement plate was added to strengthen the top of the cup so that it does not fracture as the collar pushes upwards. To attach these added components, the collar used a unique solution of a band and buckle to secure the collar to the outside of the cup. The reinforcement plate used rivets to secure the reinforcement plate to the cup. In the end, these modified and added components produced a mount protected against a rollover that was verified by FDA. This was accomplished all while maintaining normal operating characteristics of the mount, leaving the elastomer unchanged, staying within the required envelope, and having the mount be one assembled part when delivered to the customer. Therefore, by following the iterative design process of concept generation, refinement, and selection, the group was able to produce a successful solution.